Welcome to another data recovery video. This time I am working on a USB hard drive that has a broken connector. Welcome to the channel. I am a professional data recovery engineer of 20 years and people mail me in faulty hard drives from all around the country and it is my job to get the data back. Now this one has come from Cronulla in Sydney and has come to our Sydney office for data recovery. Now it's one of these Western Digital My Passports for Mac. They're a USB hard drive, they're common, they're cheap, they're everywhere and people drop them, bump them but unfortunately this person has broken their USB connector off. Now the model number is wd 40 nd ZW and this USB connector has been cleanly snapped off so we can't see any damage on the top here that's going to affect this but we will need to look underneath to see if we can repair it to get the data back. So the connector on this is a USB 3 micro B. This side here is the USB 2 side and you can plug those old um, USB 2 micro B cables just here and complete is a USB 3 cable so it's got another two differential pairs here if we put the connector in place we can see that there's a bit of damage done here and it may not be that easy just to re-solder in now the pinout on this this first pin here is the 5 volt pinout here is the data negative in a differential pair with the data positive line. This fourth pin here is a ID pin. I don't think that's used. It looks like it's not used at all. And then a ground pin. And over here you've got another two sets of differential pairs for the USB 3 high speed. Now usually what I like to do is simplify things just to the four wires. We only need the four wires. So power, ground, and the differential pair. Four wires to resolder to this PCB to get it in a state where I can safely get the data off it. So what I'm thinking is I might use some bridge jumper wires and solder them in place. You can see the 5 volt power line comes up here and then comes into this triple O resistor. That feeds your power and the ground wire goes through ground. Well I can get ground anywhere. That's the easiest thing to solder in. Now the differential pair for the USB 2 that's going to be a bit trickier. So we've got data negative, data positive and it looks like that was ripped off here so we can probably just reuse this connector with some wire and solder directly from here it looks like this one had to be to here and this one had to be down here and you can see that goes into the USB controller for this repair job I'm going to use some nice thin and flexible enameled wire it's very convenient to use for repair jobs like this just getting in we'll solder the connector side first now the differential pair wires do need to be matched for impedance in size and length we'll solder the other side now i haven't done the ground yet i don't know where to go but we'll solder the power that'll be the easiest we're going to solder these little points here now we just need to find where to solder the ground so just here is the original ground pin for the PCB where the connector was soldered and I think I'm just going to reuse it but I'm going to scratch it back a bit reveal a bit more underneath this give me a bit more space and clean it up a bit that'll just make it easier for me to solder the wire to we will chuck a bit of solder there prime it up ready that's a good ground pin so this is the last ground pin and remember the ground pin is this one in here i'm not going to bother trying to get into that tiny little space if i don't have to this whole connector shell is a ground pin so i'm just going to solder to the outside of that now there's no guarantee that this is going to work there's a general rule of thumb in data recovery that if you've applied enough force to break this then there could be other stresses and other things broken on this PCB that we haven't encountered yet. Who knows the inside of the hard drive could be damaged, it could start to click but we've done the job here. There it is, it may not look pretty but it's just got to get the drive working so I can safely recover the data. Let's plug it in and test it. The good news, it's detected the drive straight away, so our little repair has worked. Let's do some tests to see if we can actually get the data back. We've got a full and correct working ID. 
down here we don't have any errors reported and it's doing a speed test to see if we can actually read the data and at what speed it's about 20 megabytes a second that's a little bit slow even for usb 2 but that should be plenty to save all the data off this hard drive now we can open up the files we can see them all it's detected as a my passport for mac that's the western digital branding for the apple platform it's a hfs journal file system and it's got about 828 gigabytes we need to recover what i need to do now is save all the files to a new hard drive and return it to the customer if you need data recovery from a broken hard drive you can mail in from any location and we will get your data back at the lowest price simply visit zeroalpha.com.au and i'll see you guys in the next video